he's saying that we are in fact the Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. 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 Is it just from here? Oh, hey. Yeah, Tom. Well, now, uh, well, um, my son, uh, Mark was just all excited to just be able to Yes. Try, try it again, Jerry. Yeah, I am. Okay, I am. That's maximum on the master. It's up, up now. Okay, I can hear myself now. Okay, everybody, let's find a seat. We're a little late getting out started with the meeting because of the previous excellent planetarium show. We looked at the skies as if you were in Australia or the Southern Hemisphere with all the constellations upside down. And having been there and looked at the sky, I couldn't find a single constellation because they were all upside down. Surprisingly, it does disorient at least me. But um, we will get going in just a second. Uh, the museum has uh, sent out a notice today regarding their response to the coronavirus and meetings. And the, um, this area of Santa Barbara has design, been designated by the CDC as an extremely low uh, risk area. So at this time, they're not sending out any warnings to staff <laughs> or visitors that meetings should not be held. So, um, so we're going to continue. But if, if there's any future announcements that affect our meetings, we'll, we'll let you know through Colin. He has the master email list. So for that, for tonight, uh, we're going to go through our business real quick. Uh, Pat, the merch manager, wants to go first. So here she is. Scheduled here with uh, Colin, our uh, final well, uh, treasurer. Uh, we got 171 members and 1999 and some change in, in money. And I was going to say I'm, what our membership looked like, and I lost my note. Okay. I know we've got, I think, 23 complimentary members. Those are probably outreach members. Six lifetime, one of which is going to speak to us tonight. <laughs> but that was our, our we got 171 members and about two thousand dollars Okay. Thank you. Uh, next our secretary, uh, Carol. Should, yes. I just have a question um, for our vice president. What our next speaker who our next speaker is. He doesn't have to respond now. And uh, so I can get a little information. Yeah, you could talk offline. Yes. All good. Okay. Okay, good. And the, um, um, Yeah, I'm going to go to the We have the workshop. Is anyone here? Tom Fidmore? No. I haven't been attending the workshop lately. Uh, but uh, so I guess we'll. You can, you can see what's happening at the workshop by going to our albums there in the Flickr and 
You can see the last workshop on Tuesday, we took apart a six inch Newtonian telescope completely and Tom and Tim, they cleaned it up and put it back together and collimated it. So it's very successful. So if you have a telescope that needs a little help, uh, some guys in the telescope workshop are willing to help you out. So there's a whole album of pictures here if you want to see what they went through. Okay. Thank you, Tom. Sure. The, um, on equipment, I don't see art here. Art is still recovering from what, arms. Art, art was just afraid of the coronavirus thing, okay. to stay away from crowds and, you know, so it, he's just trying to be cautious, mm -hmm. but he's doing pretty good. He, okay. he changed the fuel, fil fuel pump on his van himself, 84 years old. He dropped the, the gas tank and popped it in and out, so pretty amazing. So, so continuing his uh, usual spiel, if you have any or know of any telescopes that, or someone that wants to donate it to our club. And speaking of that, that Jerry, yeah. Jerry on, on, on that note, uh, we have some donated equipment that we're trying to uh, be selling eventually. I'll let you know with email, but this, uh, this guy, John Fogoski, he uh, dropped off some books, as you can see right here, some, what they look like. If I hit the plus sign, you might, you might make it magnified and kind of see what they, very, they're kind of technical, some of them. They're kind of, they're, the Romance of Modern Engineering, old first course in physics, so. I took elementary, I took the main algebra out of that book. Really? Okay. So, you can buy that book for a cheap price. We'll have that available pretty soon. I've already, but, got, I've already got one. <laughs> <laughs> but there is uh, another set of books that uh, is interesting is that down here you see the Red, Green, Blue, Mars. It was a good series. But what's even more interesting is this book called Men from Earth. It's signed by Buzz Aldrin. And, and the price for those I looked on uh, Amazon and eBay is people want up 100 bucks for a paperback that has his signature in it. So it might, well, Jerry wants me to try to get this uh, sold on, on, on eBay. So I'll try to do that. And then there's some books here. It says Menlo Park. That's Thomas Edison, I think, uh, volume one, two, and three. So a lot of detail, an old, uh, old history of, of Menlo Park. And so that, that's, and this thing here, it says James Webb Space Telescope Observatory Model. It's a, it's a put together model that you cut out of these, of these sheets here and you can make your own little model of the James Webb. So if you know of anybody that has interest, let me know. Otherwise, I'll, I'll send out an email and ask for people to bid on it or uh, let me know if they're interested. Uh, also, besides these books and odds and ends, uh, oh, there was a few optics too that uh, just some junk, junk optics that, that are available. Not sure, right there, there's a, a good 26 millimeter, but otherwise it's kind of just a, some, some, some camera things. And it's a little teeny, it looks like a 30 millimeter bang. Yeah, it's like it's so, so nothing, nothing great there. Anyway, so that, that'll be available. But and the, the eyepiece on the left is a uh, Unitron 0.96, whatever it is, 0.962 inch diameter. Yeah, I didn't, didn't measure it. It looks bigger than this one, but I don't know. Yeah. Good question. If this is a 2 inch 26 millimeter. We'll figure out what to charge for those and see if we can sell those off. But uh, for members, well, maybe we'll give a discount compared to retail price on eBay. So. We'll try to do that. And also, we have a donated, uh, where'd it go? Uh, oh, telescope right here. So it's an eight inch called the Celestar by Celestron. It's a fork mount on a wedge. It's a good size to carry around, not too heavy. Plus all these accessories, a car battery. You only need, a, what's really nice about these telescopes, you only need a nine volt battery in here and it lasts for 50 hours. And it can track across the sky for you. It's in very good condition, very clean optics on it. Uh, comes with two basic uh, eyepieces right here, and a, it's got our erect image uh, di uh, 45, so you can look at the moons right like you see it with your, with your eyes. A uh, bunch of filters, some are duplicated here, uh, filters for light pollution and such, colors, uh, the diagonal core, some a hand controller and a deck controller, so you can just use this to, to tweak your telescope around and, to track something, and a little, a little adapter, you could put a camera on top of the telescope to track with a wide field camera with this little adapter here. You know, so it looks something, if I have, the, there's the telescope, and a very clean mirror inside. Like, where did I get this from? Where did we get this donated from? I'm trying to remember. Art, Art had it in his, in his van, so I'm not sure, I don't know where he got it from. 
And uh, so, so yeah, it's, how it's, much are you asking for this? I think 500 bucks would not be a bad price for this, but I think maybe we could discount it for a member. So if you're interested, you know, have a, you know, that's it. <laughs> Nine hundred ninety-nine. Yeah. So it, it, what? When was it made? Probably in the nineteen nineties. I'm thinking. So yeah, it's. it's coatings and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah. Have what? Yeah. I, uh, you know, I'm not sure well, about that. I think. Shows the corrector plate. Uh, no. I think it's, it, sometimes it's written around the edge. I can't it's remember. It's got that purplish cast when it's got their coating on it. It seemed, like, it seemed like it had that. It seemed like it had the Starbright coatings at that time. It seemed like I had a picture of that somewhere. That, well, I don't see it here. Oh, well, I tried. So, anyway, so thanks for sale. And I'll send out an email uh, notifying members, and then we'll be going farther out to see if we can sell if nobody wants it. But we had a couple of telescopes sold, uh, 200, 300 bucks, that were much less uh, in worse condition than this thing. So this is really it. I mean, it... it to, you know, some people like uh, myself and, and Bruce, we've taken the optics, the, the, the optical tube off and put it on a German equatorial mount instead of the fork mount if you want a little more tracking stability. But if you're just looking to, to track some stars through the skies for yourself, it's, it's not a bad way to go. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, I think that's it for the moment. I, actually, there is going to be another big deal coming up with our one of our members, uh, Richard Tracy, or Dick Tracy. He lives in Solvang. He, he is having uh, a, a, a trouble with his lungs. He's got fibrosis of the lungs. He's going to have, he can't use his telescope equipment anymore. And he has very expensive equipment that I'm going to try to help him sell. Uh, he's got a 14-inch Celestron, he has a seven and a half foot diameter uh, observatory. He's got some teleview optics, expensive optics. He's got three cameras that go with it. And so I'm going to try to help him get rid of that. But a very, it would probably be, you know, 75% a new price for something like that, which would be, and considering no, no sales tax probably, it would be a good deal. Okay. We, we'll see. We'll see how that works out. Well, as long as you're up there, can you do the webmaster? Webmastering, as uh, we, we see our. What can we say about the web page? I try to keep it up. Uh, Chuck sends me updates. We get the updates of the newsletter. You can see that there. You can see what's on the front the front page we have here. And so check out the news the, our website and does it have a through. list of past speakers updated? It no, it's not updated at all. So there's we've got the last year or so, but you know that's work. So I'm a, I avoid work at all costs. So I figure the president will probably fill that in for me. So <laughs> I'm, I'm the president because I'm most successful. Avoiding work. Dele delegating. <laughs> so anyway, we can always use more help if people want to do things like that. Help us out. We appreciate it very much. If you can help us do things, if you see some uh, spots that we could use help at, uh, please, uh, if you've got some time, we'd love it to have your help and we, get, we have things we could probably assign to you. So okay. that's my spiel for now. Jerry, I think that's Thank enough. You. Okay, and then our newsletter, the newsletter was out, I saw it about a week ago, so good work getting that out. And and Tom, Tom Whittemore went to a London Symphony Orchestra at the uh, Granada Theater, so that's why he's not here. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, food. We don't do food anymore. Although, oh, Diane, let's thank Diane and Brandy for a few, few snacks. But Diane brought a bunch of snacks in. And the, the uh, potluck in June is coming up. Uh, three months, two months, two more meetings, and then the potluck. So, Pat has a sign-up sheet somewhere. Yeah. What's that? Pat. Oh, it's going yeah. around. Sign-up sheets. Okay. So I guess so on this, we're on the fast track here, and we're now up to. Oh, we have outreach. <laughs> Almost forgot outreach. Slow us down. Just wait. You know, after, after, after the coronavirus, there might not be any outreach. <laughs> Anybody want to hold the flu rock? <laughs> <laughs> so, so this weekend, daylight saving time, you lose an hour of sleep, so plan ahead for that. And then it means, of course, it's staying bright later, so bad for summer. And then Wednesday, uh, Astronomy Night at Monte Vista, that's, uh, Chrissy set that up. And so we're going to actually go on the playground instead of the K-12 
kindergarten area. Yeah, we'll have the gate open. As you drive past like the school drop-off area, you can hang a right and just drive right up the driveway to the playground all the way to the field at the back. So all right. Easy well, access. The around this uh, it's not horrible, <laughs> but it's Santa Barbara, you know. I mean, okay. so you got to deal with some of that. But it's for the kids, not for us. And then uh, the next night, uh, Science Night at El Camino School on San Simeon Drive in Galilee. That's kind of, if you take uh, Old San Marcos and project it across the freeway where it hits over there on the other side, uh, that's El Camino School. And we set up in their playground, which when, if you're coming in San Marcos from Hollister, or if, I, I think that's San Marcos and not San Simeon yet, but San Simeon is the cross street. When you come up right to where it, where it hangs a left onto San Simeon, you just continue straight into their little parking lot area and you can get back onto the playground. So, yeah. And they have pizza for volunteers. That's always a big draw. Mm -hmm. And then uh, uh, second Saturday, we'll, we'll have a meeting. Meetings move to 6 because the star party's moved to 8. So we'll be, we'll be an hour later. And we'll have Girl Scouts, or Girl, uh, what's the little ones? Brownies. Not, they weren't called Brownies. Were they Daisies? No. It was, it was some other Girl Scout term for their young ones. But daisies? Were they Daisies? Could be. Daisies. Those are the little Munchkins. Munchkins, yeah. <laughs> so so we, may have, we may have, you know, more than the usual number of, of people. As long as they bring cookies. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I only got two boxes and they went in a couple of days. And, uh, Okay, then um, Wednesday the 18th, uh, Goleta Valley Junior High, we're going to set up on a playground blacktop, and it's on the west side of campus. So that, again, you go in their parking lot, and you go way over to the left edge, and then you hang a little series of turns and go out onto their blacktop out there. And that's actually fairly dark. That's not too bad, sure. as long as the Marine layers are coming in. Make sure that they, everyone knows not to take the first driveway. That's the charter school driveway. Yeah, the very first driveway is charter school, but if you go into the, high school, the junior high driveway. But if you're not familiar, yeah. The first driveway is junior high. That's yeah. coming from the east, the first driveway. Yeah, if you're coming from the east. It'll still be lighted when I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just set up. It'll still be light. Yeah, to set up. Yeah. Yeah. To set up. And then um, Thursday, it's spring, officially, at uh, just about 8 p.m. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're cheating this year. We're doing it early. Uh, it's actually happening right now. And then uh, on the 20th, uh, third Friday, Westmont, uh, every third Friday, weather permitting. Uh, we'll still kind of set up at 7 p.m., but people probably dribble in at all hours. They were coming in the rain last month. Uh, we had nine people drop by in the rain. Uh, but they at least got the, some of them got to look at the scope, if not through it. And then uh, Saturday the 21st, these are nice dark skies, uh, Los Morris Ranch Park up in San Maria on Dominion Road up there. So that's, that's not a bad star party, and they usually get a fair number of people. And then uh, Fourth Tuesday, we've moved to for this year, Telescope Tuesday. And then Bacara wants us for Earth Hour. Uh, and um, you know, to set up uh, out there uh, at, at the usual spot on the bluff by the Angel Oak Restaurant. So that's it. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for coming up on Sunday. Yeah, so yeah, Saturday night, night, Saturday night and Sunday, you lose your hour of sleep. So yes. tomorrow night. Yeah. And Joanne. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. And now, now our illustrious vice president will introduce our speaker. Okay, with girls. Thank goodness, president. Watch out for the I would walk this way. That's the point. Oh, that's spaghetti. <coughs> so we're one of the extremely low risk areas. Our Paris needs a special clean planet of his own to live on. Doesn't it? <laughs> I heard, I heard, I heard it's past, I heard it's past my elbows. What I like is they tell you to cough into your elbow. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then you bump elbows and pass it on. And it looks like, remember last month we had that great uh, screen without even dimming the lights in Fleischmann? It looks like we changed the bulb in our projector. We don't have to dim the lights. Well, they changed all the lighting here. To a really poor, poor, poor lighting. Yeah, these are new lights. Well, they don't do good at mono. It's okay now. we got one of our own coming up. But before I introduce Christina, Mars 2020 and Beyond uh, report, she, we don't see her much here at our meetings, do we? But she's a card-carrying member of SBAU and a monstromer. Here you go, uh, Madam Secretary. Next month, Friday, April 3rd, Dr. Robert Antonucci, esteemed UCSB physics professor who we've been trying to get for years. 
I somehow enamored him with my silly emails and his character. I don't know, I just get the feeling it's going to be a fun night with him. And then the following Friday, May 1st, Dr. Jonathan Mitchell, who's been spending time up here, he's a UCLA physics guy doing research between there and UCSB, and he's in the area. It took a while to get through to him, but he's going to be in on May. And then June covers, I guess, the rest of spring, and I have that time to get the July and August speakers. And I'll wait on that. So let's meet Chrissy. This is on the screen, but I'll repeat it. Longtime astronomy educator, NASA Solar System Ambassadress. I'll let her tell you what that's all about. Fell in love with outer space stuff in high school, never looked back. In addition to leading outreach activities for National Aeronautics and Space Administration, she one of the planetarium lecturers, like Tom and Chuck, and at our SB. Um, can't even read my own writing. Instructor. Oh, she's she does that. And City College School of Extended Learning used to be adult ed. Is now she has a class. I'll let her tell you about it. She's also a proud mom, couple kids, and she's an astronomy advisor for the recently created local chapter of the Girl Scouts Astronomy Club. Cool. Might get a little update yeah, from her on that at the end of her speech on Mars 2020 and beyond. Everybody, Chrissy. Oh. Yeah.